Hey everyone, it's Chris here from the Hot Wheels Garage and today we're checking out the Drift Master Champion Hot Wheels set. So let's get straight into it and check it out. Now it's a pretty cool little set. You can see here you've got the sort of car launching booster here. Press that handle down, shoots the car around the drift track and it also goes back into the launcher so you can drift it again. Got some flags here that you would want to hit on the way around and maybe even fly the cars off. So pretty cool. Just take a look at the action on the back. See here, yeah, see like don't fall off the track. It connects to the other sets, which is always awesome. I love it when these like parts connect to the other sets. You can see here, it's a sideways drift launcher. That is pretty cool, like a sideways launcher. And you knock down those flags as an extra, an extra challenge, which is pretty cool. And there it goes back into the launcher to be drifted all over again. I just wonder how many cars you could put on at once. I mean, this picture has got quite a few cars on the track. It'd be pretty cool to see a few drifting at once. So this is the Hot Wheels Driftmaster Champion set. No batteries required, which is cool. And it comes with one car. So let's get straight into it and see what parts are in this set. Now it's got the press open rear here on the back, so it's nice and easy to open. And as I say with all of the track sets that come in boxes like this, once you open this box, it's pretty destroyed and you're probably not gonna be keeping anything in the box. You can see it is all loosely packed in there. Got the instruction sheet, very simple, uh, ooh, lots of pieces. Uh, we've got the stickers, which is a little bit annoying, but that will be okay. I'll put those on and then set it all up and give it a go. See how, how the cars perform on this drift set. Hold that up. All right, so here we've got the sticker set. Oh, not too bad. Just what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stickers. Not too bad. We've got pieces of the drifting circle. Oh, it's actually a lot bigger than I uh, anticipated, to be honest. Yeah, that is quite wide. That is quite a wide piece of track. So we've got this. So here's the part of the boosting mechanism. All right, that's the flags. Stand, and uh, let's connect to the other sets. Let's, oh, we've got another stand in there. Let's pull this car out. Probably doing it the wrong way, but that doesn't matter. Oh, there we go. Take a look. Very nice. What is that car? I can't quite see. It doesn't have a name on the base. I'm going to research to find out what that car is. Let me know in the comments below if you know what the name of this fantasy car is. Looks like an X racer in that uh, yellow color there that is translucent. Very nice. All right, let's get this put together. Okay, so you can see we've got it all set up now. These are the flags, which are the added challenge. I'm guessing the car slips underneath and knocks the flag over if it, uh, if it hits the flag. This is the launching area. Now, it doesn't have as much power in the launcher as I thought it would, uh, so I'm not sure how the cars will perform. So we'll load up the car that comes with the track set. Pretty nice looking car. In it goes, and let me, let me, <laughs> Give it a good whack and see how we go. Oh man, that was pretty pathetic. All right, let's put it back in there. Let me use my other hand. Ready, go. Oh, not too bad. Uh, so I got it around. Let's, uh, can I, no, a second time, not so good. So, you know, it's actually not as easy as I thought it would be to get that car around the drift track. Now, I'm not sure if it's because the car that comes with the set is so heavy. Yeah, but you see, it does go around, not too bad. Uh, it is a little difficult though. So we'll try some other cars on it and see how this track set performs. All right, let's load up some cars. I'm gonna check out the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7 to start with, very nice little car. Looks like a little sporty racing car, but is it a drift car? Let's, uh, oh, that's, uh, <laughs> I shot that out a bit too hard. So let's give it another go here. Yeah, fell off the track, come on. Get around, look, got around. Let's reset the flags and give it a proper shot at beating the track. No, no good. Reset those flags. Damn, this is um, a lot harder than I thought. 
All right, that uh, Volkswagen Golf didn't get around too many times at all, did it? Let's try out the Lotus Esprit. Very nice in black there with the gold rims. It's very light. Yeah, look, it flipped the car, flipped it over, but it actually went around quite easily. Oh, flipped it again. So this car is very light and goes around very, very easily. Set those flags up. Yeah, too easy, but you know what? Now the car is upside down, so that's not very good at all, is it? We set the flags. Now let's try the Mustang Mark One. Very nice car, like big chunky wheels on this one. See what sort of drift style this one has. Oh, that was a bit of a bad shot from me there. Again, no, it keeps falling off. I don't like this. I wish that wasn't there. I'd much rather the car's got a, a good chance at getting all the way around. Let's, uh... oh, okay. All right, other hand. Let's go. Oh, geez, not, not good at all. Let's check out the 2015 Dodge Charger SRT. Really like this car, nice in silver. A little bit of a heavier car. Oh no, not very good at all. Maybe it's just me. Mm, I don't know. Load it up, whack it around. Oh, that was a bit weak. Oh, you know, it's sort of getting there, isn't it? Let's, let me hold the track down. Give it a bit more stability here. Oh, almost. Come on, let's go, let's go. Yes, there we go, all the way around. All right, so I'm gonna load up a few of these cars and see what happens if we have them all on the track at once. It's probably gonna be a bit of a failure. You know what, I think you could have a few cars going on this track at once and it would work pretty well. If you picked cars that were going around pretty good, uh, I think it would be easy to keep them all, look, on the track. Yeah, look, you know what, this set, is, this set is not too bad. It's actually quite fun. So, you know what, if you see this Driftmaster Champion set hanging around on the shelves, which you probably should because it's a relatively new set, you know what, I'd suggest picking it up because it is actually pretty cool. I only paid 15 Australian dollars for this set, which is very nice. I'll put some links down below to Amazon and Walmart for my US viewers to check out where they can pick this up. But yeah, in Australia, Target, Kmart, these sort of stores had it. And in the US, yes, Target, Walmart, Amazon are very easy to find this set. So for me, it's actually a bit of a big thumbs up for this video because I like this set. So don't forget, you need to have a big thumbs up there as well, but most importantly, you need to subscribe to become part of the Hot Wheels Garage crew. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.